So quick, dude. So quick. This guy can box. Oh! Andrew Tate walks into a gym and spars a bunch of heavyweight boxers. You're gonna wanna see this. Andrew Tate comes in with the velour pants. You know he's comfortable, ready to throw some traditional martial arts kicks. Ah! He had to do it once he got in there. The velour. Look at the velour, man. Comfortable at the lower half. That's still quick. His cameraman just making love to him in the background. So quick, dude. So quick. That's the guy they're gonna throw at him first. He's getting worked, no doubt about it. Tate's gonna run right through this guy. Oh no, he's going with the big man. Good jabs to the chest. He's jabbing his kid's head off. I don't know if he's a, a boxer or not. I mean, he's obviously a boxer. I just don't know at what level the, the guy is. He's using a Philly shell defense, but he's not really countering. All right, Tate just blew through that guy. Like I said, I don't know the guy's level. The first guy, he had a Philly shell defense. He threw maybe two jabs the whole round. So I'm not really sure what was going on there, but he was much bigger than Tate. And you also got to remember Tate's sparring without boxing shoes on, which is a distinct disadvantage. When you have boxing shoes on, you have greater traction on the ground. You're able to push off your back foot, land your punches a little bit easier, close distance faster. Oh man, he's coming heavy. The guy with the pink hand wraps isn't playing games. Yeah, that's the guy right there with the pink hand wraps. Okay, this guy can box. So, you can see a guy work the bag. Then we landed that one, two. He shifted his head off the center line and created an angle. Right away, you can see that that guy has experience. Playful sparring here by the second guy. You know, starting off nice and slow for the round. Good body shot by Tate there going underneath the elbow on the right side of his training partner. That's a liver shot. Ooh, pull counter. Going to the body after this, off the break maybe? No. Oh, there he goes to the body, drops him. So what Tate does well is he paused. So your instinct was to go to the body, right? Because he was throwing out a specific pattern. Touch, body. You get into close contact, dig. But he took a pause, he broke, which made his training partner relax for a second. Then he dug under the elbow. Very good timing. And that just comes with experience. Nice body shot by his training partner. He's a tough dude, but he's getting work to the body. He has to tuck those elbows in. Tate's actually a lot bigger too. Definitely a weight class or two bigger than him. And he's using that length to his advantage. He's able to land hooks to the body where his opponent can't even land straights. Beautiful timing. So what Tate does, a lot of people criticize him, and I have in the past, it's his tendency to pull straight back from punches. Now that's not to say that you can't do that. Obviously it's effective. It's a way of clearing off hooks, but he does it as like his main line of defense, right? That's what he does is because he's oftentimes taller than his opponents. He's a very tall guy, rangy guy. But if you're a young fighter watching this, so your first mode of defense should be your feet. Use your feet to get out of range. Then it's your hands. Then you can start pulling, rolling shoulders. You shouldn't be doing that as your first line of defense. Again, he's more experienced and it works for him. Oh, I gotta focus, buddy. He started looking off to the side there. Oh! See how he does? See how his chin is well in the air? Now, again, I didn't start this video to pick him apart because he's doing a lot right. I've given him his flowers. I wouldn't be doing anyone justice watching this if I just glossed over the fact that he's literally doing that in range. He's getting away with it, but it's something to pay attention to. See that? He reads shots so well, even at his age where he's not in complete fight shape, he's able to read. See how he reads him? Read. But he's getting caught there. Now, if the guy just goes for three, four, five up top, that's when you'll see shots start to land. But the issue with his buddy here that he's sparring is he's going up top, he's pausing, and he's getting hit to the body, which is slowing him down. 
Oh, now he's getting sloppy. He's all over the place. Look at the mobsters in the background just casually doing business. Illegal dealings. Ooh, see that shot there, guys? That's what I'm talking about. You got to understand, too, Tate is a kickboxer. He comes from a traditional martial arts background as well. He's not a boxer, per se. Oh, this guy's coming at him hard. So you got to give him credit. He's playing another man's game. It's not as if he hasn't trained boxing, but if you've ever watched him on the pads, he's not a boxer. So he's going into someone else's world and sparring him. I actually feel like the last guy he sparred is also a kickboxer, judging on the fact that he doesn't have boxing shoes on. And the way he was throwing his shots, he seemed a little impatient in spots where a pro boxer wouldn't behave that way. Tate landed some great body shots in that round. I know that his training partner didn't like that, but you guys definitely liked this video. I brought that on nice and slow, but I think it was a clean entry on the segue. All right, starting the third round. This guy's wearing a UFC shirt. Uh, so I don't know if he's a UFC fighter or not, but he's certainly not a pro boxer, I'm assuming, based on his attire and the fact he doesn't have boxing shoes on. No, he's definitely not a pro boxer. He's walking in completely straight up. Taunting and shit like that. Just sparring. Just so, uh, he's coming in with his chin up. This guy's wild, man. He's trying to make a name off Tate. Not a good look. He's gonna start ripping the body. Bang. Nice right hand. See, very good respect by Tate. Tate landed the right hand and pulled back, took a back step. He didn't want to finish the kid off. He could have probably stopped him right there. When you're sparring someone that doesn't respect you when he's trying to take your head off, landing one hard shot is a great way to get their respect, to slow him down. That's exactly what Tate just did. Oh, another liver shot. He does that well. He pump fakes and then changes levels to the body. You saw that? His training partner was going into the bathroom. Now, before we get into the last round, I think the sparring has been fantastic, very controlled. Let's get into the comment section. Imagine Zerka trying to fight Tate. If you don't know who Zerka is, good for you. You're better off. Bro, he's still so fast and his defense is crazy. He'd be scary in the influencer scene. Imagine how he'd be with an actual training camp and brushing off the rust. I agree. You know, I don't suggest him doing that. I, I don't think it really benefits him, but who am I to say? I think they should bring on influencer kickboxing. Then put Tate in. Let him use his full repertoire because sure he's decent at landing shots he has really good timing on his hook to the body and he pulls well but if you let him add his kicks in i think that's where he shines the most i think he destroy all the influences in that realm so i'd say wait for that don't go boxing kids who are trying to make a name off of you started kickboxing two months ago because of tate best decision ever made see so what i'm seeing in these comments if you just gloss over them they're all positive he's obviously had a great effect on people now this video is not intended to get into his ideologies into his history and to pick him apart as a man that's not what the point of this is it's just to watch this sparring session. A lot of people hate him. Some people love him. Some people really devalue his kickboxing history. He calls himself a multiple time world champion. People bring up ISKA. He really wasn't a world champion at the highest level. He wouldn't survive in glory. There's a lot of that going on as well. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I don't really have a strong opinion on Tate on any level. I put out a few videos early on when I didn't really know who he was. I was picking apart him later in his career. But watching him spar here, the purpose of this video is just to break down his technique here. And just scrolling through the comments, it seems like he's having a really positive of effect on people all right this guy's a boxer my man got the the rival cup oh yeah this kid can box see this is what i like to see good up and down boxing definitely an eastern style of boxing meaning his long punches are going to be really clean beautiful see he's not trying to embarrass tate he could i'm sure oh yeah very controlled I also want to give respect to Tate for putting this video out. He could have left this last round out. He would have been justified maybe in doing that if he's trying to control his image. The timing and the up and down bounce. If you, if you watch fighters like Bivol, for instance, or other Eastern European boxers, you'll be able to see that they use this up and down style and really long range shots where they rotate their shoulders over a little bit differently than Western fighters. I was fortunate because my second boxing coach was from Russia. So I was able to develop that long style, that bouncy, that blitzing style, stepping to the side. This kid does it really well. Obviously levels above Tate in terms of his boxing ability. And that goes to my point. If Tate was to do influencer boxing, I suggest just wait for kickboxing. He's so famous, he could do a kickboxing bout with anyone. Just with his kicks and his left hook to the body, he'd beat all these guys. What do you guys think about his ability at 
at his age. He's obviously no longer a fighter. He's just staying in shape. What would you rate him overall? As you guys may know, I have a newsletter. It's pinned down below. It's called the Fight IQ Report. But what we really specialize in is getting your disciplines, your habits, your realignment sessions all in order. We focus on addiction. We focus on mental fortitude and we give practical advice. A few of you guys have commented on my post saying, Steve, you're an MMA guy, this or that. I've been a human before I did MMA. I was a human being before I did jujitsu. No human is one thing. That's why some of you guys watching this are lawyers, are garbage men, are cooks. But no matter what you do in your life, if you don't have a certain degree and understanding of self-development, then your level of success is always gonna be capped. Strangle gang, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.